We got some projections, Spider-Man No Way Home. I mean, obviously, like if you try to buy tickets for Thursday when they went on sale, you were waiting for quite a bit because everything crashed. Everything absolutely crashed when it uh, when it came to that. So here we go right here. No Way Home's opening weekend swinging toward massive 190 to 250 million. Mind you, this is just domestically. So it says right here, according to Joe Blow, Spider-Man No Way Home is swinging toward a massive opening weekend at the box office. According to Box Office Pro, Spider-Man No Way Home is expecting to earn between 190 and 250 million domestically in its opening weekend. To begin, pre-sales for the film have been outstanding. Well, that's if you ignore people selling their tickets on eBay. (laughs) <laughs> or fighting each other in the theaters. Yeah, we all saw that. Just to see the movie during the opening weekend. Be that as it may, tickets of Spider-Man No Way Home are selling like Aunt May's wheat cakes. Okay. Setting up one of uh, the biggest box office returns of the pandemic era. While films like F9, No Time to Die, and Shang-Chi, and The Legend of, Ten, of the Ten Rings have all fared well, Against COVID restrictions, Spider-Man No Way Home is inspiring people to flock to the theater because it stands to change the Marvel Cinematic Universe for forever. For real this time. You see, Spider-Man No Way Home comes packed with yes, 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 yes. We all know that. We all know that. Um, Yeah, so it's set to do that. And then when it comes to actually, I remember even reading something too where, I mean, they're thinking that this is already going to, I remember even reading another thing, too, when it came to the international numbers, because that thing was selling out like crazy. I, I They were saying that first opening weekend, when it comes to, like, internationally, it might reach a half a billion dollars already. I don't know. Like I said, I think this movie's going to hit a billion dollars. I really do. I think it's going to pass a billion dollars. Do I think it's going to do endgame numbers? I don't think so. But I do think it will cross the billion dollar mark. We'll see. I think uh, the biggest thing is, is if there's not too much fan disappointment, <laughs> that's the that's the thing. If 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 somehow like Toby and Andrew were not in the movie and the word of mouth was people were disappointed because they're not in the movie, then you would see a significant fucking drop in the second weekend for sure. But we all know that they're in the goddamn movie. Um, we all know that. So I, I'm I'm just I'm just saying it's going to reach a billion. I think it's going to reach a billion. I, I really do. I think it's going to pass a billion. Uh, I just don't know how far into the billions it'll go, but it's definitely going to, I think it's going to reach there. I think it's going to reach there. Um, so, but that's the projections right there. So 250, up to 250 million domestically, man. Uh, and, and, and the fact that we're still in the apocalypse slightly, I guess you could say it's not as bad, of course, as it was. Uh, last year and, and beginning of this year, but I think we're, you know, things are kind of loosening up. I think people are getting a little more confident, you know, people are getting vaccinated. People are really, you know, you know, they're kind of just getting a little bit more confident to go. I've noticed, you know, just seeing some of the, the, the blockbusters that came out this year, the, the theaters, they haven't been, you know, sold out quite yet, but they've been pretty good. It's been, it's, it's been more than 50%. Usually when I when I'm going and it seems like everything's pretty much back when it comes to going back to the movie theater, which is good. It's a good thing. And if Spider-Man's going to bring people back even more to the movie theaters, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. So uh, exciting stuff. So I, I but I'm, I'm going to call it right now. I'm, I'm really thinking that it's going to make a billion dollars. So um, I just wish the Matrix would be like, you know, close. I don't know. Just at least a half a billion that the Matrix is going to make. But I just kind of worry that it's not. Even though the marketing has been so great. The marketing for the Matrix has been, ah, uh, it's been fucking fantastic, man. But it's just, man, I'm just kind of wondering if it's going to get outshined by all the Spider-Man hype. That's what I hate about all this now. It's like... Back in my day, you only got like one blockbuster every couple of months. Now you get one blockbuster every fucking couple of days. That's what sucks. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just, you know, let's let's go. Let's also support the Matrix too, because I'm I'm more excited for that than Spider Man. Excited for Spider Man, but I'm a little bit more excited for Matrix Resurrection. So I don't know. We'll see. And Keanu, I believe. Come on, do it for Keanu Reeves, please. <laughs> 